In this video, I want to provide a proof that IV estimation is in fact a two-stage least squares estimator. So, as always, we have a model which is y is equal to alpha plus beta x plus epsilon, where epsilon is the error, and there is some sort of covariance between the error and x, motivating the use of an instrument z, which we use for x. And I've stated before that the explicit form of the IV estimator, if we're talking about population quantities, because I'm actually going to do this proof using population quantities just because it's a bit neater, is that beta hat IV is equal to the covariance of Z with Y divided through by the covariance of Z with X. Okay, so that's the explicit form of beta hat IV. I now want to show that this is equivalent to a two-stage least squares estimator. So the first stage of that two-stage least squares estimator is a regression of x on z. So we have a first stage regression which looks something like this. And we know that our least squares estimator for delta 1 here is just given by, in the population, the covariance of z with x divided through by the variance of z. That's just the normal form of the least squares estimator. Okay, now moving on to the second stage. The second stage is essentially this structure equation, but estimated now instead of using x, but using x hat, where at x hat is the x which is predicted using this value of the parameter which we found in the first stage. So our second stage regression looks something like this. From this, we can then write out what our beta hat two-stage least squares is. Beta hat two-stage least squares is equal to, just using the normal form, it's the covariance of y with x hat now, divided through by the variance of x hat. Okay, and we can actually substitute in for what it actually is and x hat using the first stage. So we know that this is equivalent to the covariance of y with delta naught hat plus delta one hat times z, all divided through by the variance of just again, delta naught hat plus delta one hat z. Okay, so continuing, we can sort of write down the bottom here if it's not becoming too messy, beta hat two stage least squares, is equal to, well, we're going to have a delta 1 hat on the top, the first term, this sort of covariance between y and delta naught is not going to be anything, and then we just got a sort of delta 1 hat from the second term, which is the covariance of y with z. So we've got a delta 1 hat times the covariance of y with z, divided through by, on the bottom here, we can just forget about this constant here because it doesn't vary, and then we've just got a constant times z. So essentially we're just going to have that constant squared. So we're going to have delta 1 hat squared times the variance of z. Which if we then sort of simplify things, we can get rid of this delta 1 hat at the top and we're just left with 1 delta 1 hat on the bottom. But we actually have an explicit form of delta 1 hat, which we got from our first stage. Which if we then substitute it in, we're going to have the, the, the beta hat two stage least squares is equal to, we're going to have the variance of z divided through by the variance of z times the covariance of y with z divided through by the covariance of x with z. And obviously these two variance terms cancel and this is now exactly the same form as beta hat iv. So we conclude that beta hat two-stage least squares is equivalent to beta hat IV. And note that I've done this using the population quantities. We could have done this using the sample form of beta hat, but I find it a bit easier to work with when we're looking at population quantities. Um, but it, in principle, the process would be exactly the same.